up guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Dr. Hamas Tech. So today we're doing a speed ramp temperature and hopefully a benchmark test at the end of the video. In the first corner here, we have the Poco F3 rocking the Snapdragon 870. And in the other corner, this is my ultimate favorite of 2020, the S20 FE. And the reason why I love this is because of the Snapdragon 865. If you guys want me to do a video with the Poco F2 Pro, do give this a like and also do leave it a comment down below for the F2 Pro. So in the first test here, what we're going to do is just test out the temperature before we start. Here is at 30, let's check, 34.3, 34.8, so about 0.5. And let's check out the room temperature we're in. Pretty hot today, 30.3. So in the first test, what we are going to do is just boot these two phones up. So over here on the S20 FE 5G is rocking the 8 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage. Whereas over here, Poco F3, only 6 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of storage. So let's see which one starts up first. Over here, the Poco F3 with the S20 FE a bit behind. So let's just get these two phones started and see if the calendar is up. It's already up over here on the Poco F3. It's taking some time here on the S20 FE. So the Snapdragon 870 is more of like the Snapdragon 865 Plus Plus. Just to remind you guys, so that's what you're going to get into performance. Very similar, both do have 5G. Both of these two phones have been charged up to 100 in terms of the battery. The Wi-Fi is connected to the same one over here on both of these two phones. All the connections are off, including Bluetooth, only the Wi-Fi and location now on, on both of these two phones. So, all right, let's go to the app side of things. Both very fast and smooth. And just for to show you guys, all apps have been closed on both of these two phones. So let's start up the first one here. And before we do that, let's check out the temperature. 35.7, 35.6. So in terms of uh, just temperature, both of them are very, very similar as we start this test. So the first one here, Genshin Impact. Alright, both very similar, so I will just give this a draw. Also do note that the brightness is half on both of these two phones. So let me just show you over there, half and half. So next one here, Pokemon Go. Alright, looks like the F3 is having a slight lead over here. And yes, the Poco F3 is way ahead of the S20 FE. All right, let's just give it some time and we are right into it. So yes, slow here on the S20 FE. All right, next up here, YouTube. All right, similar on both phones. Instagram, slightly faster on the S20 FE but they did have some refresh here. Let's check out the PUBG Mobile. All right, do know the price of this is about 2,999 ringgit right now, whereas over here is less than half the price. All right, Poco F3 right into it with the S20 FE behind it. Let's just turn off the volumes. All right. Next up here, Chrome. All right, similar on both phones. Facebook. I think just maybe slightly ahead on the S20 FE. I may be a bit biased. Aha, uh -huh. Liverpool. You call yourself super, but you can't even beat Newcastle. Let's go to Shopee. Slightly faster on the FE. Next up here, YouTube Music. Just slightly ahead again on the FE. Settings. Slightly ahead. Let's try that again. All right, about same time on both phones. Let's go to Manchester United. 
Again, very disappointed with the owners. Hashtag Glazers out. All right, see me on both phones. Let's go to the Premier League. All right, a bit faster on the S20 FE. Let's go to the next one here, Netflix. All right, similar on both phones. Do leave a hashtag or which name you're supporting in the comments down below. Let's go to the camera app right now. Okay, let's go to photo. Let's see if they switch to the front. All right, looks like the F3 is a bit faster. Let's check out those temperatures. 36.4. 36.1 better temperature management over here. Let's go to TikTok. All right, similar on both phones again. Let's go to Photoshop Express. All right, similar on both phones again. Let's go to Twitter. Same on both phones. Let's go to the Play Store. Faster here on the FE. Let's go to this one we'll be doing it later. So let's just test this out, the temperature, before I go to the RAM test. Alright, so you can see here this is hotter compared to the Poco F3 which does have a liquid cooling technology 1.0. So let's check out the RAM management. Let's go to Genshin Impact. Alright, as you can see there, refresh on both phones. Very disappointing. I know the RAM on the Poco F3 is really bad. Let's see if it compares to the S20 FE. Let's go to another one here. As you can see there, refresh on the Poco F3. Let's go to YouTube Music. Refresh on both phones. As you can see there, ready to go, United Stand. Let's check out another big app over here. Refresh on both phones. Fair enough. Let's go to Twitter. All right, this one not too bad. Let's go to Premier League. Over here, you can see, let's go to Manchester United. Yeah, you see mark difference. Let's go to the last one here, Facebook. All right, not too bad on both phones. So let's check out the temperatures. 27, 36.4. So as you can see here, this one's worked a bit harder, but you do have better RAM management here. So in case if you guys are thinking of getting the Poco F3, I would recommend you to get the 8 gigs of RAM because that I think would help you to actually in terms of RAM management compared to the 6 gigs of RAM over here. Alright, so let's just close up all the apps behind and let's try to do a gig bench test. I know that Poco, they're trying not to let their phones be tested with their, you know, this gig benches and that. So we're going to see if it works in this time. So I was guess. So I'll just see you guys in a little bit. All right, before we start, let's check out the temperatures. 38.6, 37.3, all right. Battery here, 98%, wires over here, 99%. Alright, so we are at the halfway mark. You can see here the battery is at 97, here it's still at 99. Let's check out those temperatures. 37.5, 37.5, so pretty similar on both of these two phones, but do note over here that it seems like over here with the Snapdragon 870, it is definitely faster compared to the Snapdragon 865 over here. Of course, with the temperature raise, the numbers going to get over here on the S20 FE may not reflect for everyday kind of numbers. I know I do have it in some of the comments that says that the numbers that they get personally is higher, but of course, this one has gone through multiple tests we did some speed and RAM tests as well. So yes, you will not get the exact values that you will get on a normal kind of test. All right, so as we are nearing towards the end, we can see that the F3 is still a hit. Let's see if they do give some results. Oh, they do give you the results. So yes, very interesting over here. Single core score of 999 and a multi-core score of 3100. I wasn't able to get this with the test with the Poco X3 Pro. If you guys want to see that though, I will leave the link so you guys can check that out actually and just see the value you're going to get there 
you can compare this over here because normally all the tests that I do are very, very similar. So I want to give some time over here. Let's check out the results. I do guess it's going to be about 600. Yeah, as you can see there, 555. But the multi-core score is very similar on both of these two phones. Single core score. Let's check out those temperatures. 28.3, 37.8. So yes, pretty similar. Of course, this one did finish earlier. And uh, this is what you're going to get. Yeah. So very, very impressive. Snapdragon 865. Let's see if this one does mention processor information. They don't really say it over here because probably the 870 is still very new in the market so they don't really put out the numbers but yes i know some trolls in the comments will always say that this is a big phone but you guys know it isn't you see here Poco f3 but yes very interesting scores on both of these two phones so yes if you guys find this video helpful and did enjoy this do click the like and smash the subscribe button down below for more videos like this in the future do also follow me on my social as well on twitter instagram facebook and also here on youtube and dr Thomas. So that is it. This is Dr. Hamistang. Stay safe, take care, and wash those hands.